Obama has a new chief of staff as of this morning. He is replacing Jack Lew with Dennis McDonough, which I have to be completely honest, I had never heard his name before, although apparently if you're a Washington insider, you are familiar with him. So we've got some information about him. First of all, two years ago, he was appointed assistant to the president. Uh, he was currently, up until today, the number two to White House National Security Advisor, Thomas Donilon. Um, and apparently most of his credentials are foreign policy related. Uh, are you guys more familiar with him than me? Uh, only a little bit. So I know McDonough because I read him in all the national security stories. Yeah. And so, I, you know, it's hard for uh, an outsider without a lot of reporting on what McDonough's uh, stances are to get a sense of where he stands in the internal debate about things such as drone strikes, etc. Right? Yeah. But he's in that cabal and so being in that circle I mean, he, he, along with everybody else, mm. said, you know, <laughs> hit, hit, fire, 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 fire. So, on the other hand, who's Obama going to pick for any of these positions who isn't totally corrupted by either Wall Street or the National Security Industrial Complex? What's no one. What's Howard Dean up to? Uh, yeah, I mean, like, well, yeah. I mean, I, my favorite joke, and we'll talk about this more in, in another segment, is that uh, they were considering Neil Borofsky for the. Uh, SEC chief, they went with Mary Jo White. Neil Borofsky would actually regulate the banks. Mm -hmm. It was inconceivable. Out of the 300 million people in America, Neil Borofsky was at the very end of the list. Okay, <laughs> because like, because Obama figures like, if I pick a neutral guy out of Kansas, maybe he could be bought. Maybe he could be, you know, convinced that the banks are so important. But Neil Borofsky cannot be convinced. He was the very last person they would have nominated, yeah. right? So McDonough is probably another one of these robots, and you know, and we're because it doesn't matter who the picks are; it matters who the picker is. Mm -hmm. And the picker is President Obama, who I'm now convinced is deeply, deeply conservative. I mean, every time I get into a discussion with progressives, liberals, Democrats, hey, you know, why did why do you think Obama picked Mary Jo White, who clearly says she's on the record as saying I will not prosecute any of the banks? Chief, mm -hmm. why did he pick the person who will actually go after the drug dispensary uh, raids? And why did he do break the record on immigration deportations? Who's been telling you this for years? <laughs> Wes has. <laughs> it's absolutely true. And so why does he do all that? Maybe the answer is super obvious. He believes those things. He is not a progressive. He is a conservative. Mm -hmm. I know, but the thing is, that's so obvious, it cannot be uttered in polite society. Well, no, no. Here's, here's the difference. The, the, the big difference is Obama probably doesn't look at people as less than based on who they are, ethnically, sexually, whatever else. Um, but he's still deeply conservative, mm -hmm. like in all of his political right. beliefs. But he's considered because he doesn't overtly discriminated against certain people that he must be a radical leftist. Yeah, you're right. I mean, it's not to say that President Obama is as right-wing as the lunatics in the Republican Party at this point, and he's obviously not racist like them, <laughs> etc. So, and, and I'm sure that in his heart of hearts, he would rather have gay marriage. Now, the fact is he swung on that issue because of campaign donors, and so he doesn't really care. But if he had his druthers, he'd be... Mm -hmm. So it's not to say that he isn't socially liberal in some ways, mm -hmm. but when it comes to the institutional power, whether it's the military or it's the banks, etc., the economy, Every instinct he has, every bone in his body says, go with the establishment. What does the establishment say? I totally agree with you, establishment. I love you, establishment. And that's what I mean by deeply conservative. No.